Well, in 1980, when we uh, first uh, built the company, uh, you know, we started with 30 employees. Uh, we were very much a hands-on organization. Uh, whether you be in the plant or the office, everyone was very much involved in, in all aspects of the company. Our first product line uh, consisted of uh, the grain trailers. Uh, later, we introduced uh, commercial flatbed trailers. We also had some cap extra capacity, and we found ourselves uh, uh, moving into some agricultural product lines. Eventually, in the late 80s, uh, we made a strategic decision to move away from all agricultural uh, product lines into only transportation uh, products. One of the key things we recognized is that we needed to move to new technology and that uh, we needed uh, modernized uh, computer-aided equipment in our factory in order to compete in the marketplace. And it assisted us not only in increasing our quality, we were able to manufacture products more easily to meet the customer specifications. That is, if he needed a few changes in his length or width or special uh, attachments, we were more easily able to uh, design uh, these uh, particular customer requests. We have a wide range of customers and we learn from all of them. We try to sit down with customers and find out what their requirements are and then build to their requirements. That's kind of how our product evolves. We listen to customers and it's a process of continuous improvement. My name is Carney Thiessen. My name is Susan Giesbrecht. I'm John Lowen. Hi, I'm Courtney Lowen. Bill Thiessen. Well, my name is Doug Epp. My name is Gary Martins. Mike Fraze. My name is Abe Tycho. Brad Atkins. Dwayne Elias. Bill Morton. I can't say enough about our employees. Uh, they're very conscientious. They're quality oriented. Dave Friesen. I've been with the company for 22 years plus. Since 1980? 19 and a half years. Six and a half years. I've been working for Load King for 14 years. Over 17 years. For 16 years. For 22 years. I guess about 25 years ago. Just over eight years now. Been here about nine months. Since February of 2004. Our area offers uh, uh, a wealth of uh, talent. I'm a welder. I'm in customer service and warranty, buck riveter. I'm the supervisor of the riveting area, mostly in the shipping, receiving department. Scraper cleaner in the back there. If a customer has a problem, he can come directly to me, and uh, I do everything I can to help him solve it. Now, our company couldn't have grown and uh, expanded to the point without uh, the, the partnership of uh, our many uh, uh, talented employees. I'm a welder. I'm on the flat deck line. The lead hand in the riveting department. I'm a supervisor on uh, line five. I've been welding all, all the years that I've been here. We put on the stripes and we tape up the inside of the hoppers to get them all ready. Welding, scraping, painting, blasting, service work, yard work, snow removal, uh, decking, riveting, pretty well every job that you can think of. Equipment has changed a lot over the 17 years that I've worked here. And better tools, uh, better machines. We have a lot of uh, high strength uh, materials that are coming in to make the trailer lighter. So quality is uh, obviously a very important thing at Load King and uh, that's what people are looking for. Oh, the trailers have changed a lot. Uh, we, we see it in the cutting department because we get a lot of of uh, parts that are very uh, interesting to make. I think the Load King makes a very good product. It's not a very simple to make them anymore compared to what they used to be. I think we build one of the best products uh, in the market. It's grown a lot since uh, 1980. Uh, I know that uh, even in uh, 1989 when I started here, in uh, the month of July we built six trailers. And uh, now we, uh, some months we build as many as 150. We have one of the cleanest trailer manufacturing plants around. And, and I hear that from our suppliers that come and tell us this on a daily basis. I take pride in my welding. I think we do our best. Well, I know my guys are proud of the quality they put into the, into the job. We like to put out a good product. You could do a good job, you feel good about it. You know, it's, it's always a, a good thing. Best trader in town. Our employees care and looking is here today where we are today because of our employees. When you're traveling on the road and you look a little bit for those big rigs that are going over there on the highway, you see mostly Load King trailers.
customers coming in all the time picking up trailers, so I've got a first-hand information from the drivers. And they say they like the trailer. It really pulls nice, and it's a light trailer. I think everybody is uh, proud of what they're doing. Uh, when they go out and they see end product, when it rolls out of our plant over there, and uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of our equipment rolling down up and down the road. You don't drive very many miles down the Trans Canada Highway before you see some of our stuff, and and it just gives you a good feeling. We've been using Load King for some 20 years now. Uh, we found them to always be a good product, competitively priced. We have a strong relationship with Load King. I think McKinnon Transport was primarily one of Load King's first flatbed accounts in Ontario. They're uh, easy to deal with. They're a reputable manufacturer. Uh, build a good product. Build a great product, actually. The Load King products that we now use, we can depend on them every day. We have flat decks, drop decks, triaxles, tandems, um, bulk hopper units. Tandem trailers, they're four axle trailers. B trains and multi axle, five and six axle flatbed trailers. I wouldn't go to any other manufacturer of trailers. And what really sets a, a good partnership or supplier off with ourselves is not when everything is going 100%, but when there is an issue, how they deal with it. And whenever there has been a recall or we've had a problem with a particular component or how it's been put together, Load King has been there for us. We know the people very well at Load King. They've been to Guelph on many occasions and we've also had the privilege of going up to their facility in Winkler, Manitoba and uh, touring their facility and seeing right from the ground up how the product's made. They were just the best manufacturer that uh, that we could see out here and it was it was a, it was a slam dunk a lot of the equipment we have on our trailers is unique to McKinnon transport uh, load King has been able to uh, accommodate us in that aspect and and they build those unique things into the trailer right at their facility they certainly are our our trailing supplier of choice and uh, we'd like to continue that relationship with them for today and and hopefully for another 25 years it's a huge market out there. If they can keep doing what they're doing and do the job well, they'll have a great future. We're very happy with it. I kind of feel sorry. I have other good friends that sell other products. And it's, they keep calling on us, but we haven't purchased any. We keep going back to Winkler. <laughs> On behalf of Clayson Transport and all of our employees, we wish to congratulate Load King on your first 25 years in business, and we look forward to working with you for another 25 years. All the folks at Load King that uh, we've got to know very well over the years, congratulations on 25 years of excellent work. Congratulations on your 25th anniversary, and uh, we, we're looking forward to a great celebration. Lloyd and all your staff at Load King, it's an honor to participate in this video today and participate in your celebration. Uh, we're excited for you and all your staff and all the people at Load King and associated with Load King. I'm very familiar with uh, the competition and how, how rigorous our industry is and I think it's a real uh, commendable that you have achieved 25 years of success in the trailer manufacturing business. So congratulations to all of you and I look forward to participating in your 50th anniversary. Congratulations, guys. You've got a great company there. I'm sure there's the odd heavy meeting with the board of directors, but as far as I know, everything's working good, and just keep up the good work. Congratulations very much. <laughs>